Hi guys and welcome to Bates and 87 Pez, the channel dedicated to Pro Evolution Soccer 2015 content. Yesterday's video was quite difficult. There was not many goals. There was only, I think there was only four goals in the whole of the episode, which was pretty shit for my standard. And only one of them or two of them was scored by me, which was frustrating. So the team, it looks alright. It's on 95 team spirit, but fingers crossed we can get that up by the end of the week. Maybe pushing towards 96, 97, but I don't know how fast or um, I don't know how fast it turns out. And hopefully, uh, with the Team of the Year agent open, openings coming at the weekend, we can get some nice players to partner up Benzema. Even though we've got Griezmann sat there, um, he's not a player I do want to put into the team as a striker. I don't know why. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Maybe you guys can offer me some suggestions down below. So if you guys are new to the channel as well, drop a subscription. Try and smash over 200 likes. That'd be sick. And uh, yeah, three games of divisions today. And uh, we come up against an 85 team spirit team with Giroud and Mandzukic up front. Not the most difficult or of um, attackers, you would say. Yeah, you would say, I would say that, but then I look at my capabilities on this game and realise that I'm pretty shit. But, in the first couple of minutes, we just ran straight through with Ozil and went for an across shot and made it 1-0. This was going to be a fun game because he was leaving massive gaps and the quick passing was uh, causing lots of damage. A nice run there from Ozil and he's able to make it 2-0. So two goals for Ozil and he usually misses from that opportunity as well, which was nice to see. Um, Nasri linking up yet again, getting a bit lucky here with uh, the defensive error, passing it out straight to Benzema who scores a controlled shot into the far corner and that makes it 3-0. Our opponent then got a free kick and the last thing I expected him to do was do this. Ashley Young putting it into the top corner and making it 3-1. But from seeing that, I actually thought I might start giving free kicks a go rather than passing them because, I, like I said previously, I don't like to uh, I don't like to risk things. I like to make sure it's going to go in, like you can see here with a nice chip from Mello. I don't like to take risks, and free kicks are one of them opportunities. So we actually give this free kick a go, um, as you can see here, and uh, guess what? It goes straight in. That was the first attempt at a free kick direct, uh, which went over the wall. And I think I might have found the sweet spot for free kicks to go in, which hopefully can help me get a few goals in the future. So our next opponent has Diego Costa, Neymar, Bale, Goethe, Iniesta, Motta. Yeah, he's got a very, very stacked fucking team. And um, yeah... Uh, frustrating again coming up against these opponents annoyed but obviously I've got a decent team so I'm coming up against the decent players and it was actually some quick passing between Goethe and Diego Costa within four minutes puts him where one nil up in the game now usually when I concede one goal I start conceding more goals but not only did something stupid happen here I was holding the I, was, I think I double tapped the X button and uh, PK tackled the player in the box which I didn't see and uh, did actually get a straight red card which I didn't realise but got Got a straight red card anyway, so we lost PK in the ninth minute of this game. Bale then blasts the penalty over, which was a bit of a lifeline, but there was plenty more um, attacks by my opponent to get the uh, to get the goals up. And with his, the way he was dribbling fast for players was very very frustrating, as you can see here. Ball headed out straight to Iniesta, who puts it in and makes it two nil. This was going to be a game where you need 11 men on the pitch if you're going to um, try and do something uh, as you do create a huge gap. We did put Martinez into the defensive position, but as you can see, Melo um, got a tackle in, but unfortunately it still went into the back of the net and makes it 3-0. But we did get one goal in the game. And guess what? It was from a direct free kick again with the sweet spot that I think we might have found. There you go. Straight in, barring in and 3-1. Uh, so even though we did lose the game 3-1, I was happy just getting that on the... Uh, well, get, getting two free kicks in the episode so far. I'm happy with that. It might be something to give me some more goals in the future. So a 3-1 loss in that game. And it's looking like we're going to have to win every game up until the end of the um, division to try try and get a place in division 3 if we even if we want it i might just play i might just play it anyway and see but it's i don't know if i'm going i'm not i'm going to struggle I can't imagine the talent and uh, the good people in Division 1. It's going to be frustrating. So, this guy's team doesn't look that good. He's got Isco, Scherler, Song, Shakiri in the midfield, 87 team spirit as well. And it was actually a lack of concentration by myself of uh, deciding to answer the uh, telephone within... Um, 
Well, I don't know why I was answering the telephone. I don't even know who it was. I can't even remember who it was. But as you can see, he just tackles me in the area, gives him a free opportunity to score, and uh, Guyan is able to make it 1-0. But this guy was hard, a very hard opponent, until um, until the seal was broken, as you can see here. We start linking up with our players, start pushing the ball onto him, and uh, linking up with some nice passing, as you can see, from Ozil, and somehow gets inside the defenders, gets unlucky to miss with the first shot, but a good tackle and a pass back to Benzema to tap it into an open net to make it 1-1. One, one. Then it got from bad to worse from him. As you can see here, uh, going on to, going on the attack and our fast counter-attacking player with two passes basically sees Benzema run straight on through who is quite slow. I honestly thought he was going to miss that, um, but he does make it 2-1. Directly after that as well, Melo passing it to Ozil. Ozil linking up with Benzema and uh, Benzema with a first time chip ball and Ozil lobs the keeper. 3-1. I don't know where these fast goals come from, guys, but they kept on coming as well because this guy was not finished. Alves uh, going for the little tap inside and Benzema rounds the keeper and makes it 4-1. This was a very good game. And another free kick. Free kick off the bar this time. Bounces out to Martinez. And obviously we've got Martinez in there. Whips it in. And Benzema hits the post but gets the rebound there to make it 5-1. Yeah, 5-1. This was an absolute goal glow. He didn't even put the controller down as you can see there. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing actually. I just noticed the defender. He pulling him all the way back. And uh, the 6-1 we decided to make it 7-1. Which uh, basically sealed the game away. He wasn't even playing at this point. But a very nice finish from Benzema nonetheless. To give us a bit of confidence going into the final episode and uh, final two episodes sorry of this week guys so if you have enjoyed it leave a like rating that'd be very much appreciated try and hit over 200 likes subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed as well and make sure if you've missed any of the progress and if you've only agent openings i offering make sure to go and check out them which are uh, on the weekend videos so there you are we need two wins which will get us 17 points i don't know if we'll get relegated but we'll find out soon enough until next time see you all later have a very, very nice day